everyone, my name is Palacent Marine and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9, Episode 12. Last episode, we made this crazy thing behind us and take a look at it. It's slowly, it's slowly been oxidizing, it's not quite there yet, but I did also read some of the comments in the last episode where some people actually quite liked the orange stripe in the mushroom head thingy. So you know what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it oxidize completely, show you guys what it looks like completely oxidized, and then, you know, let you guys decide what you think we should do. Cause stripping it is a lot easier than waiting for it to oxidize again. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. But also in the last episode, we left it off at me finishing the storage room and then saying I would organize it between episodes. Episodes. And you know what? I've done just that. Look at this place. There is a whole bunch of signs on it and a whole bunch of named chests with all their respective items inside. Now, unfortunately, I didn't do item frames because uh, they can kind of be laggy when you have a lot of them. And considering the amount of chests in the storage room, I thought it would be best to avoid that. But yes, everything is now fully organized. All the chests from you know, the little quote unquote mega starter base over there have been emptied, except for the moss. Uh, the starter base has been emptied. I have no chest monster upstairs now. It's all completely clean and looking absolutely beautiful. You know, look at all this stuff. Miskwood, Watwood, Birchwood. I've also been farming some acacia wood as well because the terrain man out of acacia wood. Figured I would need that. Uh, so yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff going on and it's looking absolutely fantastic. Other than my storage though, more things have been happening across the river. Check this out. Both Gem and Impulse have been making some more progress on their bases. Uh, smiley face. <laughs> and they're absolutely looking fantastic. So let's take a look at Gem's fur. She's over here. She's making an elven castle. Elven castle going on. And she started on with her entrance and she has some color pop going on. I see she may have the same issue as me last season with the, uh, the snow on the roof caps. But... It's looking absolutely fabulous so far. She mocked out a lot of the layout of her base with some wool here as well. And I see she has been building up on that. So she's got a whole bunch of towers and shapes mocked out to kind of get the composition going first. And I'm very excited to see where this all ends up because she's been making some absolute mega progress. And it's looking fabulous, Gem looking fabulous. I love it. And then we have the lovely Impulse over here who has been doing some work on the interior of his dwarvish keep right here. And would you look at that? Would you absolutely look at that? I love the copper uh, contrasting between the black stone pieces that he has going on. He has the gold right in the center piece here with the portal that absolutely just pops among everything around it and it's looking absolutely fabulous he's got a sword portal going on he's got a bridge going across to it and a massive hole <laughs> that he's been digging down slowly to bedrock i've helped out a little bit you know to help him dig some of that down there because it's a massive task to do but uh, he's been making progress on that as well and uh just good jobs all around apparently he's got some stuff to do on the roof too so lots more progress to be done, but absolutely fantastic stuff from my neighbors right there. We're all making some huge progress on our mega bases and I'm so excited to see what they all turn out like at the end of the season with all of the different styles mixed together. Gonna look fabulous. However, gorgeous bases aside, I just want to mention one thing. Pretty much until now, I had never made a portal in season nine of Hermitcraft. I've always been using gems or I've always been using impulses. And since we moved to the mega base location, only impulse has a portal or had a portal at this point in time. So, you know, I've been using it and it's been great. But then he made this interior here and I was streaming one day and he hadn't released his episode yet. And it got to the point where I was very, very worried about spoilers because his portal is the only access route I had here um, other than flying, which is kind of a problem. And because I was worried about spoilers, I was speaking in past tense before because I made myself a really, really tiny a temporary portal in the side of my landscape here so that I wouldn't, well, you know, so that I wouldn't spoil part of Impulse's base before he released his episode. This is something that I can see being a potential problem all throughout the season if I hadn't have made my portal. So I think I'm actually gonna keep my portal on my side, but I don't wanna just leave it embedded in the wall looking like this, you know, it's not that great. And you know what? I love making portals. I have no idea why I hadn't made one till now because I love decorating them. So yeah, today, we're gonna make a beautiful portal. 
<laughs> that's what I want to do. That little space down there though is a little bit small for what I have in mind. So what I was actually thinking is uh, utilizing this big chunk of space right here. I know, I think at the start of the season, I was actually intending on using this as like an entrance to the bottom part of my base, but have since decided that where that bridge is kind of going across is where I'm going to make the tunnel down to the, the area underneath, which leaves this space completely open. So there's going to be a huge portal kind of embedded in the wall here. I want to do some like plants coming out of it. I want to do some mushrooms along the side to fit with all the stuff I built over there and just make a super cool nether entrance. You also might see I have some shulkers already prepared down there because I have a pretty good idea of what kind of materials that I will need. The only thing is, um, I don't have any obsidian and that's kind of like the main thing of building a portal. And with the portal that I have in mind, we're gonna need a lot of it. So I think there's pretty much only really one place that's kind of like the easiest to get some obsidian. And that is the end. Oh gosh, I just stared at an enemy. This is <laughs> not a great start to this. Hi, buddy. Can I stare at your face until you, so you don't come closer? Oh, you can't cross the rails. <laughs> this is a good start to uh, traveling into the end. Get yourself in a very angry enderman that's probably going to try and kill me. Where did he go? En enderman, D did you die? Hello? Okay. Well, um, he's gone now. He's going to probably come back to haunt me later. But yes, so uh, this is pretty much the easiest place to get yourself some obsidian from because you just hop to the top of those towers and just mine them down. And it looks like, oh gosh, that was, a, that was an enderman. Oh, hi, hi, uh, hi. Oh, I told you he'll come back to haunt me later. All right, but yes, looks like someone else has had a pretty similar idea with coming here from obsidian because they've already got a beacon set up. So this is absolutely perfect for us. And I'm going to mine down one of these pillars, at least to a certain point to get gosh knows how much obsidian I might need. And you know what? I am going to do a time lapse of mining down this obsidian pillar, but catch. I'm just going to continue talking over it because mining down this pillar is going to be way too short of a time lapse to be even worth getting music for. So as you can see, I've just been talking and the time lapse is already going to end. And then after this pillar is all mined down, we're just going to pop back home because you guys don't need to see me travel in between the, the end and the overworld. It's a quite a boring journey, trust me. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, almost three stacks of obsidian, which is honestly probably way more than I'll need for this project, but you know what? We can always sell it at my uh, my trashy shop later for whoever wants it. And I've also got some fixed tools too because I also repaired them at the end of render on my way back home. But we're fabulous. And I think at this point, we now have everything that I need to get started on this portal project. So at this point, let's start the actual time lapse and uh, get building. I'm excited. I wanna build this thing. Let's go. Pickles! Yes! I like pickles. Yes! Pickles! And we have a hole here. Oh! Oh! It's very, pretty easy to spot those giant big eyes staring at me. We have been compromised. <laughs> Hi, Pearl! I was just flying by admiring this beautiful base of yours, uh -huh. and I kind of remembered one thing. You know what? I was flying by, and I was <laughs> like, hmm, somebody borrowed a lot of copper from me not long ago. And yeah. since then, I have not heard from this person, and I just see my copper. Hey, hey that's, a, that's, not, that's not copper, that's a mushroom. You're just breaking the sacred mushroom. What, what are you doing? Don't, oh, no. You're exposing oh, no, it's, it's totally stuck. You, uh, there we and go. You're breaking the I don't need that. But but I take that. Oh, there's but more copper over here. No, I was just I was just flying by, and I was like, this base is absolutely phenomenal. A piece of art, I would say. What the and heck? I got my copper. No, I'm just kidding. So I came, and I thought like, hmm, was it like 12 stacks of copper that she got from me, or was six, it 14 stacks of six, copper? No, six. No. Six. No. Six. Bro, six was yesterday. Today, that, it's much more. How does it double? Mm -hmm. in, how does it double in a day? That's not how. Pearl, uh, six, not don't twelve. Don't <laughs> interest, Pearl. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna put it back. Yeah, that's right. Like, you better put that like back. If if you get if you get six, I take six, but it should be twelve because interest. Mm, no, it should not be 12. neighborly interest. Twelve, Pearl. No, twelve. Totally not, twelve. Well, fine. Look, we'll I go. We'll go to my storage area. Such okay. a 
beautiful you can't base you've got over here. Stop sharing me with wow, compliments. What it is it, Dad? No, Carol, it Look doesn't work. It doesn't mushrooms. work like that. It's compliments at, are not going to give you another six stacks of copper. Wow. Stop it. <laughs> You're gonna get six. That's the that's the deal. You, Carlos, you were such a lovely, yes. kind soul to give me that copper, all right? Mm. So, such a fantastic, lovely, kind soul. Those but beautiful eyes of yours, the lovely haircut, the, the shirt you got going on, you know. It's, it was beautiful, so what? kind of you to do that. Like, I might be a bit heartbroken if you, you know, want 12 stacks, you know, all of a sudden. Thank you. Thank you, Pearl. I do have beautiful eyes. And have you seen do, the hair from know? the back? Look yeah, at this. Look at that lovely hair. It's like, um... Yeah. One man's trash is <laughs> another man's treasure. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, it's great. What did you say? Nothing. I, I, said it was, I, I, I said it was treasure. Your hairstyle is a treasure. I was about to say that this might be the best base on the server, but I take see Bexy. This is <laughs> this is by far. Oh, I see more copper. Let me just get that copper. Hey, no. Get away from I made a, I kid, I kid, I made a joke. I don't know why we're parkouring like, up here, I'll be honest. Um, but just can't just I don't know. Can't I don't know. Yeah, I'll get you this, copper. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit tricksy. It's I'm not tricky. Way. Is this the easiest way to your little thing? Imagine you know, not having elytras and such. I haven't linked up the paths yet, yeah, alright? Someone 12, just wants to complain. 12, 12. Don't, don't, no, no, don't do it. Don't. <sighs> Why? I don't know. You Why are hermits incapable so of walking weird. through the. No! Oh, here we go I again. Fix. I'm getting deja vu. Boom. No! Oh, this is pain. Cross. And. Look at the Oh, door oh, handles. I'm breaking everything. No, no, oh, oh, what gosh. door handles? What you, look, the golds, you. That's not yeah. how it. Okay, in what universe Just is that satisfying? Beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Technically, no. Oh, do you put back your? Oh, I'm what not. I'm not, I'm not standing. I'm not standing. I'm not standing first. No, 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 no. That that's it. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> great, Pearl. You Fixed know what? It. I'm fine. I'm leaving that. It's because then it won't trigger you. That's actually you. great. It's, no, it's don't you say oh. that. Don't swear. No. I love that. Right, Perfect. let me get you your wow. stinking copper. Six what stacks. A beautiful <laughs> storage room you've got. The organization is Here goes with the flawless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How? Thanks. Oh, Thanks. wow. What a beautiful leg. Give me 12 stacks, please. No, the compliments don't I work. You get six. You're actually, you know what? Comfort, comfort me one more time. One, one more two, time, Carlos. Comfort me one more time. Pearl, mm -hmm. you base. I think I changed my mind. I think it might be the best base on the server. Okay. It might right. be. All it right. Is, all right. It's okay. absolutely flawless. You know what? I'm absolutely it's convinced. Perfect. You what? know what? You absolutely do deserve 12 oh, stacks. You know? Absolutely. 100%. 12 yeah. stacks. Made a trap or two. Australia. I love that. Dang it. Whoa. <laughs> Almost fell in with my copper, Pearl. Stop it. No, you yeah, right my copper. No. no. Here, here's your okay. 12 stacks because you were so kind to me. You were absolutely wonderful. That's your 12 stacks. Is that good enough? That's, That's exactly trash. What goes, right? It's not trash. It's one man's trash is another man's treasure, and it was my trash, so it's your treasure now. That's it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, you're leaving, so it must I be went pretty good, great right? ways. Uh, oh I love the door. The door combination is just beautiful. It pains my soul, but I'm trash. still leaving it. I went. Where's the rest? You gave of me the six stacks. You were so kind, Here's and I gave you. One. Hey, don't you take my mushroom? But that—that's th not how that works. Block for block. That I will see you. Hey! Doo -doo -doo. Hey! Thank you so much. I swear. And here we have a bunch of hermits running around the end gateway. Not really sure what they're doing, trying to recover Cleo's items. Oh, now for some reason they are building a, a tower with some sand on it. I have no idea what these hermits are doing, but uh, they are sure doing something. That is certain. And here we have a palestered moon watching eagerly, trying to figure out what is happening. I still do not know to this day, but I'm curious. I'm Batman. Uh, I'm
good old cheeky Corollas, my lovely neighbor, attempting to swindle some more of that copper out of me. <laughs> but at least all six of those stacks that I owed have been returned. And no, I did not owe any more. It was exactly six. So thank you, Corollas, for lending me that copper, you cheeky nugget. <laughs> Now, I will definitely need more copper later because what I gave to Corallus was essentially pretty much most of my copper. I don't really have a lot left. Uh, so what we're going to do is we definitely probably need to poke Tango a little bit further down the line when we're going to expand the mega base more because uh, he has a copper farm. But he doesn't actually have a shop. So we're going to do a bit of a deal with him. However, I did actually give him a whole bunch of my lapis, like quite a few stacks of lapis as a possible exchange for some copper later. So that is an option for possibly when we need some. Anyway though you might have noticed this room here is just a little bit different. I just chucked in a couple of little small details to make this entryway a little bit more pleasant. Uh, so it's just kind of a little brewing section or area. I need to put some nether wart somewhere but it's just kind of something cute to get the interior on this thing a little bit started. I'm not fully convinced this is kind of the way to go for this entryway just yet, but uh, it's cute, it works, and it's colorful, which is exactly what I want. And uh, yeah, I'm not leaving the door like this. So Corralis, um, no, that's not that's not happening. <laughs> no, no, no. And we're going to make it zombie proof. There we go. Beautiful. Anyway, Corralis doors and slight interior aside, let's take a look at this portal that we have created because... Mm. Check it out. It matches wonderfully with the bit of t uh, decorating that we did on the section over here. It's beautiful. It's colorful. It's got some pretty vibrant purples in it. It has the cyan or light blues that we were really wanting to go for. And it's just all around looking fabulous. Now, in terms of the design, I'll give you a bit of an in insight into some of my design choices. I did add a little bit of an extra chunk of land off to the left here because I felt it was a little bit empty. So it's kind of floating a little bit, uh, of course, attached to the land beneath it with that slight little pole down there. And I'm thinking I might put another one there down the line. But for now, this kind of works with the composition for the actual portal itself. I think it kind of helps balance out the area a lot more. Um, and then I've also intertwined all of these like purple little vines or tentacles, whatever you, <laughs> whatever they may be around it as well to kind of make it feel a bit more alive. Also accompanied by the lovely little amethyst flowers that I put on the big mushroom as well and then off to the sides here I've added some light blue mushies now I kind of ran out of oxidized copper so we'll have to wait for that stuff to oxidize again now as well same goes with that bunch up there that also needs to be a lighter blue but overall it's working quite beautifully and <laughs> one thing I actually want to mention you uh, may notice some of these mushies are made with diamond blocks as highlights I Honestly, um, I was partially doing it as a little bit of a joke because we have a lot of diamonds now from the diamond pillar competition. Um, and I don't want to flood the shopping district because you're going to break the economy that way. So what I decided is I would really love to incorporate it within my build. And you know what? With all the color I'm using, they actually fit really well because just like, look at it. Like you, you don't even really notice their diamonds until you look more closely at them, you know? So they blend really nicely. They work wonderfully as a highlight on these mushies. Um, and I, I just like them. I do. So I think I'm going to keep on doing this. We're going to use a whole bunch of the diamonds that we got from the pillar competition and just make cool, but cool stuff with them. <laughs> it works for me. And then to accompany those mushrooms, I, of course, made these little smaller ones, almost like little umbrellas with some beautiful hanging roots off the bottom of them. I've uh, added more blue or cyan into the, the ground around it for more coverage and to bring more of that blue downwards. And I just think it all complements each other quite nicely. And the portal itself if we walk closer to it we have the purple tentacle things wrapping their way into the portal as well with some lovely stained glass just to kind of break up some of that solid purple color that we had from the portal itself and you know what the portal is functional it's all linked up on the other side let me show you guys where it comes out oh looks like i have company straight up <laughs> oh that has broken my portal it's not functional anymore well that's a little bit rude maybe i've actually got my hostile mob sounds off because uh, i always have a lot of zombies and mobs oh gosh please don't tell me that hit anything important nope i think we're good okay well uh the portal was functional this is impulses portal i am behind it they're linked up properly so impulses goes to impulses base and mine goes to my base uh huh well um 
I'm gonna have to light that one back up. You know what the easiest thing is? Probably just to go through Impulse's portal and then go back through mine again. I have flint and steel, but I'm I'm lazy. Anyway, it's fine. It works when I light it again. It's there. Okay, well, this is a little awkward, I'll admit. Um, because my portal isn't lit on the other side. Um, I I've come out at my my portal. Okay, I'll light that manually by hand with some flint and steel. It's fine. I'll just do that right now before I forget because I, I, I may do. Okay, okay. I tested it out. It's all linked up properly again. It's working. It's functional. We're fine. <laughs> anyway, overall, I'm quite happy and proud of the way that my terrain overall is coming across. Uh, you know, what do you what do you guys think to it? Let me just fly out for a second. What do you guys think to the progress that is being made on the mega base here? Do you think it's all tying in well? I think I'm fairly happy with it. It's convenient my alien theme well in my mind and I'm very very much looking forward to you know where the rest of this space is gonna go but now though let's take a little bit of a break from the mega base and check out some of the things at our shop in the shopping district so i'll admit i didn't exactly mention it on camera at pretty much any point i'm pretty sure the last actual time that we left off with the shop was that my shop was not stocked no prices were set or anything uh, yeah, well, I I've done that now. <laughs> Everything is actually stocked here. There is prices. I don't know if these prices are any good. Honestly, well, it looks like that. Never mind. I was going to say, it looks like I don't know if I would make any sales. We have, apparently. Um, but, uh, oh, oh gosh, we've made more sales here. Hello. <laughs> I've completely lost my train of thought, I'll admit. Okay, right, recalibrating. Yes, yeah, so I settled the products down. I don't exactly expect to make many sales. This is a trash shop after all for items that a lot of people probably aren't all too interested in. Um, but it's here and apparently it's working. I haven't actually even advertised it to any of the other hermits, but uh, it seems to be doing its job even in its most basic form. And I have sold a trident as well. So look at that. I've already made a whole bunch of diamonds. It was barely lifting a finger in the advertising department. Hmm, that's pretty good. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot, right? While I was stocking my shop, um, I also stocked my shop with some stone diamond ore. I think I mentioned I was going to do that. And uh, it's, I don't know what use someone could have for this other than just having it as in their collection or getting more diamond out of it. So I wasn't exactly expecting it to sell. But if we take a little peek in the chests, Ren has decided to buy a diamond ore for gosh knows what reason. I have no idea. Um, but I was selling these things one for one IOU for one ore. Super expensive. Didn't expect it to sell. But for some reason, Ren's decided it was a good idea to, uh, uh, to buy one. So we now have one IOU for Ren. Um, so that's gonna be quite interesting to figure out what on earth I would like Red to do in exchange for this IOU. So, uh, looking forward to that, but that is now gonna be safe in my bank vault for now until I figure out what on earth I have in store for him. Now, showing you guys the fact that this shop is stocked and selling wasn't actually the reason that I really came back here. I've come to notice as of late that um, quite a few hermits have been accumulating some pretty terrifying chests and shulker monsters. Now, I've been a lot of this down to pretty much everyone getting started on their mega bases, and my soul personally just cries <laughs> for all of the time used that these people go through their chest trying to look for the item that they need and can't find it because everything is everywhere all over the place. My heart cries for them, I'm telling you. What I would like to do is offer a brand new service to go with my trash shop. I would like to be a cleaner lady. A cleaner lady that helps the other hermits by fixing their chest and shulker monsters for them. So what's essentially gonna happen is I will just offer my service. Well, they, they will come to me, right? They will tell me where their chest and shulker monster is and will hire me to kind of organize it all for them into either a chosen storage or into a brand new mini storage. Part of me was definitely thinking I could just add a chest and a sign in my current little shop area, but another part of me is thinking it could also be really cool to start to expand my shop a little bit and expand it up because that's kind of seems to be the room that I have right now and I think it'll be a really cool idea. So the game at the moment is basically kind of just to build on top of this thing and maybe start to turn it into a little bit of a skyscraper in a way, a pretty rundown skyscraper, but a skyscraper nonetheless. So we're gonna have another room or chunk on top of this piece here, which will be completely dedicated to my cleaning up service. And I, I think it's gonna look pretty good. 
So I think we'll just kind of give this a go. Uh, I'm not going to time lapse it because it's kind of just a small thing, but I think we'll just give this a go and see see what it, see what it looks like at the end. Surprise! Just like that, immediately after the last clip, the uh, shop expansion has now been created. Uh, yes, I guess I'll show you it now. Bam! There we go. Uh, honestly, from a first glance, it really doesn't look much different at all, with the exception to the actual trash sign to the side. You might actually take notice of the difference of that first. But yes, would you look at that? We now have an extra floor on top of the original floor of our trash shop, and we have this beautiful sign off to the left-hand side here that very clearly communicates what my shop uh, is all about. <laughs> Another piece that I also added to this second level on the shop is a kind of a landing platform section that people can kind of just come in on on their elytra and they're straight into the organizational shopping section here. I've created this little bit of a basic interior with the right hand side showing the clear pane that is a shulker and chess monster and on the left hand side we have a this is satisfying very organized lovely little storage system there just to give the hermits a bit of an example about what hurts my very soul. Oh, yeah. Yes, we also have these signs here. Are you messy? Having issues sorting your inventory? Get sorted by hiring me to sort your items for you. Check out the barrel for more instructions. So pretty easy. It's honestly super straightforward. Uh, in the barrel itself, like the sign stated, we have an instructions and requests book. Where if we open it up, we have welcome to Trashy Treasures Cleaning Service. Are you struggling to keep your items organized? Have shulk or chest monsters everywhere and need to clean up but just don't want to? I am me, pal, to clean it up for you. And then they've got a whole bunch of instructions like use this book to write the name and coordinates of the monster they'd like to be cleaned up. Then they just choose a location where they would like all the items moved to. If they do not have a preset location, they're most welcome to also commission me to create this tiny room or whatever for them if need be, and they just have to write it down in their request. So pretty straightforward. They're going to leave their payment in the barrel with the book and the prices. We have a small monster, three diamond blocks, medium monster, 10 diamond blocks, large monster, 20 diamond blocks, and a huge monster where they need to contact me for assessment. Honestly, um, I'm going to actually add to the hermits as well that they can just message me if they're unsure what a small, medium and large monster looks like. So that'll be pretty clear at the end of the day. And then if they have any questions, I've also added, do, do not hesitate to message me. They add their request on the end of the page here with their name, coordinates and the request right below it. And then I can look at that, check it out and uh, undertake them whenever I see it. So pretty easy, pretty done. And uh, they can just stick this back in the barrel itself when they're when they're finished with it. Easy. I've also added the stairs off to the side here that just kind of go down to the first floor. I fully expect people to just go in through the top, but you know, if they come in here to shop in these items and also see these stairs too, there is a pretty easy way to get up top without having to use your rockets. But hey, that's pretty much it. That's kind of why I wanted to just stick it at the end of the episode here because it was a super simple job to do. There's not really m much special uh, to do with the build that I created. It's just an extra addition onto the top. That's pretty much the same as the first level below aside from the sign but hey he's a bit of an extra look as well behind of course is blank as a <laughs> freshly bought canvas that is something I'll work on a bit later but um, I'm quite happy with how the shop is looking so far and I'm sure in the future we will be adding more to the shop itself and expanding even further up as we go. I, I quite like the style that I've created. It's a little bit run down. You can tell it's very trashy. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's doing the right thing. It's doing the right thing. I will communicate to the rest of the hermits that my business is now officially open and maybe by the next episode we might see if we have any potential customers. This is actually the one I might be slightly expecting to be a bit more popular, but we'll see how it goes. So very exciting stuff. But guys, that is actually going to be it for the episode today because we've done a lot and unfortunately we are out of time to do any more. We, we, we've done a good job today. I'm pretty happy with what's, what's, been, what's been going down. So thank you all so very, very much for watching the episode today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any feedback for the episode, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will catch you in the next episode. All right. Goodbye, everybody. I'm flying again. <laughs> oh, yay. Bye, everyone. See you next time.